How's it going, Ohana? Today we're gonna give you more real estate tips and tricks that help you be successful in this competitive, crazy real estate market. Every time I try to push out real estate content, I always try to keep it as relevant as possible. One of the ways I do that is by sharing tips, tricks, and stories of some of my clients who've had recent success within the past couple weeks in their journey of real estate. So today we're gonna to talk about what to do when you go visit open houses, when you go to look at homes, and how that can lead to you successfully getting your offer accepted. I thought I'd share this because just that, one of my clients just went to an open house recently, and because of the interaction and because of that visit, they're able to get the offer accepted against a bunch of other offers. So here are three things that you need to do every time you go to an open house. The first thing, the biggest tip that we can give is simple for you to be nice and for you to be pleasant. This might not sound like a big thing. It may even sound like common sense, but let me tell you how much being nice and even holding a smile can go a long way. Usually when you go to an open house, there's always going to be a realtor there hosting the open house. A lot of the times the actual agent who's working with the seller will be there greeting the guests and walking everybody through and sharing information about the house. If they do it purposely or not, they're also taking mental notes of some of the people that are coming in. You make a mental note of people who are really good candidates and people you want to work with, but also those who live with that impression. End of the day, the seller is the one that makes the final decision, but us as realtors, we can give suggestions as much as we can of whom we think would be the best client to take on this transaction. When you go to these open houses, just be nice and be pleasant. Smile, be happy that you're there. But throughout the home, don't point out all the bad things about the house. This isn't the kind of market to do that in. Those kind of comments could be red flags to the realtor of difficult buyers in an escrow. So be nice about the property, talk about its potential, talk about how you can visualize you and your family in there, and that could push you above everybody else when it comes to making a decision. Now secondly, when you go to an open house, not only are you there to get a good feel of it, but you're also there to get as much information as you can about it. So here are some things you can ask the realtor. Ask about anything major about the house that you should know, anything that, that broke down recently, any major things the seller done to fix up the house, upgrades that are put into the home, if there's any unpermitted areas in the house. That way you can kind of get a better idea of what you're getting into when it comes time to putting your offer in. Last thing you want to do is you want to get as much information about the seller as you can. So you can ask the realtor how long the sellers live there, why they're moving, where they're moving to. You can try to get some information about the seller just so you can try to build some kind of connection. When you're walking around the home, if the seller's still living there and they still have their personal items up, look around and make any connection with their hobbies, the places they've been, places they've visited, or even people they know. Maybe that can see through in your offer and hopefully get you picked. At the end of the day, tip number one, reign supreme. Be nice, be kind, and leave a positive impact. But I just had a client get the offer accepted simply because they went into the home, they're super nice, they're super polite, had a really good conversation with the realtor. So much so that after open house was done, the listing agent called me specifically and said, hey, the clients went to the home, we had a really good conversation, it'll be a good fit as a new homeowner. At the end of the day, when you go to these open houses, don't just go to go, don't just go and be zombies walking through the house, but try to be nice, try to get as much information as you can, and smile and be happy that you're there. You never know what can happen, you never know if that can lead to you getting the house.